short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima. It is an atomic bomb. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT. Nuclear bombs changed the face of warfare for centuries to come. The atomic explosions in Japan marked the beginning of a nuclear race, globally. While some nations wanted to use these bombs as leverage, others wanted to add them as a defense against other nations. But how did all this start? Let's rewind. The countdown of these explosions began in 1905 at Bern, Switzerland. A 26-year-old patent clerk formulated an equation, changing the face of humanity forever. Today, the world knows him by the name, Albert Einstein. And you guessed it right. The equation was none other than the famous E equals mc square. In simpler terms it means energy of a system is equal to its mass m multiplied by the speed of light squared. A simple equation with infinite applications, ranging from the functioning of the sun to subatomic physics. But little did this naive physicist know that his discovery could be used to create mankind's most dreadful weapon. The equation E equals mc square can calculate the amount of energy released from any fuel on combustion. This holds true even for nuclear elements like uranium and plutonium. To calculate the amount of energy released from a nuclear bomb we must first understand nuclear fission. In nuclear fission an atom of heavy nuclear element is bombarded with neutrons which causes this atom to break down into lighter elements while releasing additional neutrons. Which goes ahead to break other atoms thus starting a chain reaction. We can use the equation E equals mc square to calculate the energy released, where m is the difference between heavier and lighter elements. Using this formula we can calculate that 64 kilograms of highly enriched U-235 released 1.5 into 10 to the power 13 joules of energy during the Hiroshima blast. Germany started to weaponize these radioactive nuclear elements in 1939, once scientists Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann discovered nuclear fission. In the same year, a concerned and paranoid Einstein wrote to American President Roosevelt warning. It may become possible to set up a nuclear chain reaction in a large mass of uranium, by which vast amounts of power and large quantities of new radium-like elements would be generated. Cautioned by this, the US started the Manhattan Project in 1939. Remember, 1939 was also the year Nazi Germany started World War II. The Manhattan Project was a $2 billion project that employed over 130,000 people with the sole agenda to prevent Germany from developing a nuclear bomb. Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941 not only made them the primary enemy of the U.S. during World War II, but also fastened the United States' development of nuclear bombs. In 1945, J. Robert Oppenheimer created two nuclear bombs, Fat Man and Little Boy under Project Manhattan. They were eventually dropped on the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August, 1945. Now I am become death. After the detonation of the first nuclear bombs, Einstein was accused of triggering this mass massacre with his revolutionary equation. The New York Times published, Einstein's letter to President Roosevelt had set the bomb in motion. A year later in 1946, Time magazine published that Einstein was the father of the bomb in two important ways. First, it was his initiative which started United States bomb research. And second, it was his equation which made the atomic bomb theoretically possible. On the contrary, Einstein always maintained that his equation was not directly responsible and even inconsequential to the development of the nuclear bomb. The scientific community supported his stance. Even historian Alex Wellerstein famously stated, something like the Uranium Committee might have been started up anyway. Moreover his equation E equals mc square, like gravitation, is so basic and versatile that it finds its application in almost all the fields of science. Do you think Einstein was responsible for the creation of the bomb? Let us know in the comments below. Hit the like button if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel for more such content.